Okay, so today we are making, let me find my sample. Okay, so this is for Mixed Up Crafts, Sam Collette. And um, there's two different sizes. There's a six by six and a five by seven. I've, I chose the five by seven, as I've told you before. A lot of UK um, crafters make very large cards. And we tend to do more of the A2s and the five by sevens. And now of course we're into slim lines. Okay, um, this paper that I used here is sold out. So I am going to be using another paper. I found a scrap of paper, so I'm gonna use it. Um, I had planned on using the wreath paper and sort of um, creating it with that, but now I, I found a scrap, so I'm gonna be using that. So it's called that narrow card for good reason. You've got your pointed here, and then when you open it up, it looks like that. So I think it's quite cute. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. I just realized I forgot to bring some ribbon. Oh well. Okay. Here we go. And I'm changing it. I am going to do another uh, variation. I'm gonna do the same as Sam did in hers, okay? I'm going to be putting mats on mine and I'm, I'm changing up the paper here because I don't have it. So I'm changing the card. So you start out with a white piece of cardstock and it's 10, seven by 10, because it, we're going to be making a seven, five by seven card. And I'm going to score it at five, okay? All right, then I'm gonna do some measuring. Get my ruler. and a pencil. So what I wanna do here is I want to, so on this short side, I'm going to measure three and a half. So I want half, just a light pencil line, that's all you need. And then from this score line down, I'm going to measure, or I guess you could say you're gonna measure up from the bottom. I think that's what I said in the instructions. I'm going to measure up from the bottom two and a half and just put a light little tick. If you don't have a T ruler, they're fabulous because you can just put it right there and then tick it off. And it makes things really easy to keep straight. So um, I know we have some in stock and 24 are coming, so we'll have lots more. All right, so there's my tea ruler. So now I've made that little tick here and here and here. So now I'm going to create some score lines. All right, so If you haven't done this, it's really good to put a marker right down one of your lines. I put it right down the six, and then you can do diagonal lines really easily. I know some, um, I'm just gonna draw that down. I know some of your scoreboards have diagonal lines. This one doesn't. So I'm putting it right at this middle score line here, and I'm going to go all the way down to that little tip that we did at the bottom. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go right from that middle tip to that score line. There we go. All right. So now we have these side ticks. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to put that up there and this one here. So this one's lining up on that line and this one's lining up on that line. So we're heading towards the same point. So in your instructions, I um, put them as A, B, C, D, and I'll show you. There we go. 
So they're all meeting at that point there, okay? So in your instructions, I've made a little diagram and I've just showed you how to, where to put them, okay? All right. So now I'm gonna take my bone folder. So you can see I've got my score line here, here, and they're all meeting at that same point. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to create a mountain fold out of that long score line on that side. And then I'm also gonna create a mountain fold on this side, all right? So it looks like that. And then I'm going to turn it over or turn it this way and I'm going to create a valley fold with that smaller one and I'm going to create a valley fold with this one So then it looks like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of this pencil line there. And I'm gonna fold it in half. Looks like a envelope. Okay, so there it is. That's your arrow cord. But you notice there's a lot of bulk here, right here. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna put some glue here. Glue that one down. And then I'm gonna glue this flap down. So I'm just using my um, glue applicator here and I have it filled with, people are always asking me, and I have it filled with art glitter glue, which I will show you after because you can buy a large container of it and just keep refilling your bottle. Now these kind of stick up too. Just gonna take my bone folder, and go over that. Even going over it with a bone folder, it will smooth out that glue. So now I want to just put it here, but I don't wanna go past here for my glue. So I'm just going to put it in here. Okay. And I'm going to use my bone folder again. And that kind of flattens the glue out. Smooshes it. There we go. And then I'm going to do the other side. So I want to, I don't want to go past that. The glue does dry clear, so if I did get some on there, it wouldn't be a big deal. There we go. So now my original one, I just used gray for this, but then I decided I wanted some mats on it. So that's why I decided to just do the white there. So now that's much flatter and it'll be easier to go in your envelope. And it does stand up like that. Okay. All right. So yeah, you can see this one I made with, with just gray, but I'm, I decided to have some mats on it. Alrighty. Okay. So now I am going to cut two pieces of paper. I'm going to cut one that is six and a half by four and three quarters. And that is the gray cardstock. And then a pattern cardstock. This was a scrap I had. Five and three quarters by four and a quarter. All right. So now on these, we want to find the center point down here. So again, I'm going to take my ruler.
and this is six and a half. So I am going to mark it at three and a quarter. So then what I want to do is I want to cut on the diagonal from here to here. So I'm going to take my cutter and I know we have more, we sold out again, but we have six more cutters coming girls. So those that missed out, you're in luck. We didn't have to wait this time. Okay, so there's my tick. So at three and a quarter, cause this is six and a half. So I'm going to go from the top corner to that tick mark and I'm gonna cut it on the diagonal. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go from that top corner to the tick mark. Now, if you're not comfortable cutting it using a cutter, you can use, you could draw a line and use your longer scissors, okay? All right, so we're gonna use all these pieces. So keep them all. All right, now this one is, and I don't have any of this paper left, I'm sorry. So this is five and three quarters. So half of five and three quarters would be two and seven eighths. So there we go, that's the half. So now I am going to cut from this corner. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm lining up that little pencil tick and I'm putting this corner at the top and I'm just cutting. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go from here to here. And I'm cutting that, okay? So we're using all these pieces on our card. All right, just gonna get my tape runner. So this mat is going to fit nicely in here. You see that? So I'll put that on. All right, so it leaves just about an eighth of an inch of border and it fits very nicely right there. Now these pieces, I'm gonna tuck this one under here and this one under here, like that, okay? And then you have, when you open it up, you have that space for your sentiment. So let's get those on. So I'm just leaving an eighth of an inch around this side now I could have used navy blue here too but I had some gray so I thought I'd just use it so I'm leaving an eighth of an inch on that okay so it looks like that so this one my little point should have come over more see that So it looks kind of funny, so I'm, I know what I'm gonna do to fix that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on. Now this is shiny paper, and it does not accept my tape runner at all. So I'm going to use glue on this one. here 
then one here. Okay. All right. Now I have Now I have cut out a flower here. So you see where our, it didn't, you have to be more precise than I was. So I'm just going to have that like that and it covers it right up, okay? So I'm gonna use some foam tape on that. So I just fussy cut this out of that large piece of paper that I've been using all week. So that's what this came out of. So I'm gonna, I just want that right down there to cover that up. There we go. So all gone. And I have a little Now remember, I'm gonna use my other scissors. On this paper, there was a, lots of these little words that you could use for sentiments. So I'm using this one. This will be my mom's card for March. trying to send my mom a card a month because I make so many cards. So I think I'll put it right like that. Or should I put it right there? And I think I like it across here. Okay. So I will. I see some different things here. I'll try it. Somebody sent us a sample, so I'm just going to try it. Well, I can't get the backing off. Not so much for that one. There we go. And then I can open it up and I write a little message. So it's a very cute card. I quite like it. I'm just going to leave this white. I could put uh, gray on it if I wanted, but I think, I think it looks nice white, a nice contrast. So this card fits into a 5 by 7 envelope. So what I thought I'd do, and this is what she did in her video, which I thought was lovely. And I used to do envelopes all the time. So she just put a little piece of paper across here, or you could put a little piece of paper across here at the back. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna glue that on. Oops. So it's a nice way to use up your scraps from that card. Put it all on there. I'm just gonna line that up like that. And then I'll just trim this off.
So I glued it on really well so it'll be okay in the mail. These envelopes, I actually add glue here and here because there's uh, no adhesive on the sides of these. So I think that looks nice. And open it up. And there we go. It's called an arrow card. All right. Okay, so that is today's. And then this was...